Okay, this is going to be the or internal organs of the rabbit. So start up here. This is going to be the pericardial sac. Now, if I were asking you on the practical to identify the pericardial sac versus an atrium or a ventricle, atrium and ventricle, I would stick the needle straight down through. So this would be implying that I'm asking for the right atrium or the right ventricle down here. Now, if I stick the needle through this way, it's going to be implying that I'm asking you for the actual pericardial sac, so the internal organ versus the part of the circulatory system. Then, next to the pericardial sac, we've got the lungs. This big, large brown portion here is the liver. This piece right here that's going to go all the way around is going to be your diaphragm. Under the liver, if you lift it up, you're going to see that green portion right there by my finger. That's going to be your gallbladder. Underneath the liver, this is your stomach right there. Lifting up the stomach and moving out the intestines, you can see your kidney, which is going to be right there. And going into the intestines of it, this yellow portion that's right here is going to be your pancreas. So the yellow part that connects to the stomach and the intestines is your pancreas. When getting into the digestive system and looking at the large intestines and the small intestines, remember that the small intestines is going to be comprised of the duodenum, which is the part that directly connects to the stomach, so right up here. After the duodenum, you're going to get the jejunum, which is portion of the small intestine that's right here. The jejunum is going to attach to your ileum, which is right there. And then you've got your cecum, which is the thick portion of the large intestines. You can see it's significantly larger than the jejunum in size, jejunum, cecum. And then you've got the colon. Now, you notice the colon has the hard ridges on it right there, whereas the ileum is going to be smooth. So colon versus the ilium, which is right over here. You can see that that's significantly smoother. There's no ridges, so that's how you can tell them apart. So just if you're stumped on what you're looking for, just by knowing that the colon is the part with the ridges, you can process of elimination determine that this is the cecum, knowing that that's the two components that make up the large intestine, where this would be the jejunum, the smooth one is the ilium, and the duodenum would be the portions directly connecting to the stomach. And down here, we're going to have the urinary bladder, which is the flap that's going to be right here. Again, your kidney is going to be located right there. The adrenal gland, let's see if we can find it in here. Let's look on the other side. The yellow nodule right there in the rabbit, that's going to be your adrenal gland. Moving into the neck, you're going to have the esophagus is going to be in the back, whereas the bronchial tube and the trachea will be in the front. So the two tubes there, esophagus is in the back, and then the trachea is going to be in the front. The flap of skin. This piece over here that's over top of the heart, right there, that's going to be your thymus gland. And I believe that covers everything. So 